Next question is from Katie C. Have you guys ever fallen out of love with fitness? What made you love it again? Hmm. You know, this is a good question. I, 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 I've never not liked uh, fitness. Um, I've definitely li- there's been definitely times in my life where I've enjoyed it more. I enjoy fitness the most when I'm feeling my best, when I'm training at a high performance level and I'm feeling strong and I'm feeling aggressive in my workouts. Um, but I didn't dislike my workouts when that didn't happen. I think that's because, for me at least, and this is something I used to try to communicate to clients, exercise and workouts and fitness really is a tool um, to, uh, to, to complement my life. So through stressful times in my life or times when I wasn't feeling so good or whatever, I'm, it's definitely not as fun to go work out, but I still enjoy the workout because I'm going there to make myself feel better. Um, but I've never really fallen out of love. I think that's the one most consistent thing I've done, uh, since I was 14. I really, for, for me at least, um, I have a few times. Yeah. Have you Justin? Uh, yeah, I've gotten like, uh, uh I'm trying to think of the word, but it, it was really like, I, I got turned off. Yeah. I got fat. <laughs> that's the word. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the politically correct word. <laughs> I got fat. <laughs> yeah. That just happened. It was weird. Um, uh, yeah, no, like I, I, I got tired of, of kind of uh, beating myself up. And, and this yeah. is because I was training wrong uh, for, for a period of time because I was always trying to compete to be the strongest in whatever team setting that I was in. And I was in groups with people. Like, again, this is where the whole thing with groups is is sort of like near to me because it's – it's about the individual. It's about the individual experience at the end of the day. Uh, groups, a lot of times, is great because you kind of feed off momentum. But for me, it was I got I, I got to a point where I just felt like I was just I was just beating the hell out of myself, and I was like, I just needed to like take a break uh, for a while. And so it wasn't that I was falling out of love. It was just like okay, I'm more into music now, and I was just like drawn to another passion. But then realized right away, I was like, oh, I don't feel good physically. You know, I like I feel like my energy levels dipping. Like all these things started to happen again, and I hated that even more. So I was like, right back to fitness. Yeah, I feel like it's uh, similar to you know the the house cleaner who doesn't ever want to clean their own house or the construction worker who never builds his own home. Like it's similar to that. I had moments, but it was, it was for different reasons. Right. So my first experience of falling out of love with it was uh, training. I trained so many clients uh, the first couple of years of being a personal trainer mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. I got burnt of training people. Like I, so I didn't lose my love for fitness as far as like me having a passion for the industry or liking to work out. Or like I also, and I fell off and didn't work out again. It was uh, it was something I was so excited about when I first got into it, and I got burnt. I got burnt of like training so many clients and and trying to solve problems and failing a lot. I mean, let's be honest: the uh, trainer client relationship is a majority of time a failure. I mean, you're lying to me if you tell me that more than 50% of your people got all the results they ever wanted. That's yeah. not mm-hmm. a reality. We're more like baseball. You know, we're batting like 300 if we're lucky that we're getting our clients' results. So the consistent failure of not getting people to uh, their goals and and trying to help them all the time. And like all I did was speak fitness all day. And then when I was off, I was in the gym lifting. So I, I did have a, a moment of, of being burnt out. That was also the same moment that led me to realize that, oh, I, I like teaching trainers more than I like teaching clients. So that was that mm. first pivot. Uh, then I had another one where um, I was really upset that this was like, I've talked about this in the podcast before where I was really upset with where I was at in my career. I wasn't uh, moving up as fast as I, I wanted to move up. Um, I left, I took off, I took a couple of years off of fitness. Uh, per- this is where I have pursued medical marijuana. You know, but that was also what made me realize how much I did love it. You know, I left it. I was pursu- I realized that, oh, maybe this this space is not going to provide the mm-hmm. lifestyle that I've always wanted and the money I wanted to make. So I left it, pursued that, accomplished that, and then realized, oh, wow, it wasn't about that for me. I really do miss it and came back. And then I had a little taste of that again uh, not that long ago uh, after competing. Um, mm-hmm. You know, and, and the funny part about competing, I'd love to compete. I loved being jacked and strong and looking amazing. Um, I actually didn't like uh, 
how I felt about our audience, how they they thought of me, that mm, bothered me. Uh, it started yeah. to bother me that I was kind of pigeonholed into the, because we started the podcast when I was in the middle of it, mm-hmm. um, that I was this bodybuilder guy, and I totally never identified with that guy. Like, I was never that guy to me. Um, I became that guy to help build what we did. And so when our, our audience like thought of me as that all the time, like I was like, Ugh. you know, so there was a part of me that kind of uh, after, after being done and like accomplishing what we did, I was like over it for a while. Like, oh, I don't want to. And that's why I was like all into mobility yeah. and like hang the, up the man key. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude. So I'm sick of being handsome. And yeah. Sexy. Oh yeah. Damn it. Oh terrible. my God. So hard. Too much. So it, women it, whistling at me as I walked down the street. I but, remember that. But, remember, but, that? I, remember that? Remember that? Dude, it was crazy. <laughs> we were walking. What were we doing? Oh, lunch? dude. Yeah, we were down in Some Campbell. Some chick whistled at Adam. Like, I'm like, what the like, hell's going on here? This doesn't happen to me. <laughs> this is <laughs> weird. This is too much. Yeah. I could see how that could get totally. Yeah. Oh, shut your face. So, but I like this question because um, uh, I, even though Sal's answer I thought was a little bad, uh, I, we're it's not. It's true. It's not bad. No, it's no. the truth. No, no, it is a truth. He, and you yeah. are he, ex- the most. He's consistent. the most uh, yeah. in love. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's I, I got pro- like googly eyes. Well, what's constantly. the what's the when's the longest? I guess you didn't work out. Right, right. So I've gone you know a month before without lifting, or two months even in a row. Oh, okay, no. that's not bad. Sure. A, a couple months. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I've, d- I've definitely. I, but that's why I like this question because um, you know we we are all everybody's lives like come and go is in, in seasons, and there's definitely seasons of my life where. I am all about fitness. All I do is talk about, I mean, obviously I competed, right? So that's like a a full time every single day. All I think about is fitness. And I did that for three, four years and had a blast doing it because I love, I love Mm -hmm. fitness. But then I have times where, um, you know, lifting weights and training is, uh, is only an one, one part of the whole health sphere. Yeah. And real easily, the other things can get out of whack. And I've realized that now in two decades of, of being a personal trainer, that just because my body looks cool on Instagram doesn't necessarily mean that I'm really addressing all other aspects totally. of health in my life. And so as I've gotten older, I've learned to look at that more holistically and go, you know, okay, sure, I'm not in the best shape of my life, but what other other aspects am I really drilling home? And and that's that's uh, made me re-fall in love with, with what yeah. we do. I, I stopped, well, I didn't stop working out, but I did, I was only lifting maybe once or twice a week, but that's because I was doing uh, jujitsu at the time. So when I did jujitsu yeah, for about example, six years. Because you're doing something else fitness ex- Exactly. So I, that's, I never really stopped and you're, it, it, I do, I just love it. But I've changed it so many times. I mean, I went through a very, very tough period of my life uh, years ago when someone close to me uh, had a rough battle with cancer. And at those times, I would go into the gym, and it was my workouts were about uh, alleviating stress. It was about making myself feel better, taking care of myself. It wasn't about building muscle or strength or or having the blast. It was like taking a break, is what it was. Let me get in here, take a break, so I can go back and, and help out. Um, and so, but I've always used it as a tool, and I it, I do. I just uh, I just enjoy it for that. But honestly. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's just the, the discipline of doing it. There's definitely times when I'm doing the workout and well, I'm not thinking good, to myself, I love it. You have good balance, though. And I think that's the the answer to this question is what can happen when you when you get so focused on a goal um, or, or a, a modality, a way, like maybe you're in a CrossFit and a competitive side or whatever it is that floats your boat. Oh, I've right? definitely been obsessed. I know what that feels yeah, like. Yeah. And, and that leads to burnout. Totally. And, and I think that's, and, and so, and I've done that to myself, right? Yeah. I've, I've become super focused on a goal or, you know, a pursuit of something, went hard at it, and then you accomplish it, and then you're like, uh, uh I'm over it, mm-hmm. right? And that was kind of like bodybuilding, right? For me, it was just like, it was such a, a it was probably one of the biggest accomplishments as far as my fitness my fitness pursuits that I've ever done because of how long it took and then when I got there and kind of achieved what I was going for it was like eh anything like whatever. anything you do uh for a long period of time you're going to go through periods of really enjoying it and through periods of not enjoying it but th- what gets you through that is the discipline uh, look I'm a I'm a dad I love my kids more than anything I don't always like them there's definitely times I don't like my kids there's other times when I like them even more um, and I'm going to be their dad for the rest of their lives. Um, it's a long relationship. Same thing with fitness. There's going to be times when you love working out and it's great. Don't uh, fall in love with that feeling because it's going to be very hard to stay consistent when you, at those normal times when working out isn't as great, when it kind of sucks, when you're not as strong, when you're not feeling great, when it's not as fun. 
Um, if you want to stay consistent, it's that discipline that's the important thing to focus I think on. The, I think the key is, too, is to not look at – it's we, when we I love that they use the word fitness, too, because that encompasses so much. Every, it's yeah, not it's just everything. going and lifting weights. Like Sometimes that is spending time with my, my, you know, my partner and my child, or sometimes that is you know, strengthening the relationships with my friends. Sometimes that is – Health. You're talking about health. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sometimes that is you know, reading more or you know, practicing meditation or doing more – sauna work mm -hmm. and more uh, inward type of work like I, I think that's the, the key is to make sure that you're 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 always in pursuit of bettering yourself in in the the total sphere sphere of health it doesn't always have to be this i'm going to the gym and hammering the weights three days a week and i'm and following the maps anabolic yeah. program like sometimes it just looks different and being okay with that so long as you are always moving in the right direction. Personal development. Right. If you're always trying to improve yourself as a person, then fitness will probably find its way into your life most of the time.